Hey everyone, this is Paul Volker. Um, gonna take you through a couple how-to videos here with Zern. And the first one I wanna do is making sure we get logged in, setting up your course, and then setting up your students and trying to assign. Um, I'm gonna show you both sides of it, uh, from the teacher side and from the student side, just so you can see. And as I hear more, um, I'll make more videos. So I'm gonna log in or sign in with Google. If not, uh, you are more than welcome to set up your own account. Um, my thing is it's going to tie directly into the district. So that's a nice piece uh, if you have that. So I'm, I'm logged in now. Two places where I can go to set up. I can go to roster um, here or up at the top. I always tend to go with the top functions because you never know what your homepage looks like. You'll see that currently uh, I have my course set up. Uh, I, I'm doing one with uh, my kids at home. So uh, they'll give you a class code once you put in uh, all of your stuff that goes along with it, all your information. But the big part is, is making sure that you can add students and we'll just click the plus sign here. Um, and that will take me to where I can list their first and last name. So I'll put sample five uh, and I click enter. Um, it's going to give a password for them, but I can type in um, any password I want, I can change the username. It might give sample five, it might give you something different depending, but I'll click next. Um, and I can add more students right from this page or I can just delete them off. And actually I'll do that um, simply because I already got some stuff in here. So once that's the case, um, you're gonna be asked to assign stuff. And I'm gonna go into my daughters just so I can show you where I've assigned to her. Uh, she has these assigned lessons. Um, I gave her mission five, which is like module five, topic A, uh, and it's she's assigned to my class. So the big part uh, with this is um, I could change that on this page or I can come back here and I can click and I can um, change lessons from here. And my big thing is, even though we're not gonna be working on the fraction part of it yet, we're gonna be working back in here on three and four, I'm assigning a head. So realistically, I should probably assign mission seven, topic E, and I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. So I've assigned that to her. She's ready to go. She's got her username, her password. Um, I've now assigned, and this is where we assign everything. Now I'm gonna go out into an incognito um, so I can log in with my daughter's account to show you what she is seeing. And a little bit of functionality around that. And I can make a second video if need be. Um, so here I go logging in with her. And when she gets in, she's going to see this nice interface. This is the last topic um, of the last mission. So she's not at this point. If I wanted her to start this, she would just click start. The number gym is always going to be the starting to the lesson. It's a quick warm up activity for them. But what I did was assign further on so she can go back. So I might sit next to her and say, I want you to go to mission five. She'll click on my stuff. We're in mission seven. She can click back to mission five. And I can have her start at lesson one or click on any of these because they're not done. So when she clicks mission five, lesson one, she can watch the video or she can just do the Tower of Power, which is additional practice. So I'm going to have her watch the video. And you'll see that the video is going to pop up. And she can just click. And it's about a four to five minute video and she can watch through and there's little check in points in here where she can answer some questions. The good part with this is uh, it just allows the kid to jump around if you assign the last lesson in it. Um, so that's a, a quick thing of how to make some students uh, in your class, get them logged in and, and have them jump around the interface a little bit more. If there's additional videos, I'll keep adding them to this folder and, and kind of see what needs. So hope this helped.